I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I personally feel that lately, and with lately I mean probably in the past five months, or I guess since the release of Atlantean City Part 2, Lumion Legacy has been getting pretty boring. This is just how I've been feeling for the past few months in relation to the game. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. And today I just want to talk about Lumion Legacy, uh, the past, the present, and the future of the game, my opinions, and why I feel that lately the game has been getting boring, okay? First, let's, let's talk about something clear. Let's leave something clear. Lumion Legacy getting boring has nothing to do with all of this. Like this, this map is actually pretty cool. Very creative event i ended up liking it but let's be honest and let's not lie to ourselves after playing this event for like a day or two there's not really much else to do other than going into the grass over here and start hunting and hunting only appeals to like a certain amount of people i personally am now bored of hunting i've been bored of hunting for the past couple of months maybe even years and hunting is just something that i don't find enjoyable anymore and lumion legacy has taken steps to make hunting at least somewhat enjoyable by adding pity over here by bringing back auto hunting you just press shift and q and something like that and you just start spinning around but there's not really much to do in the game anymore or anything that just keeps the game engaging and active for us to play or at least for me i mean the nightmare mode and the raids that they added over here super duper cool but i beat the nightmare mode i beat the regular mode got everything now what am i supposed to do that took me like 30 minutes as well after getting the maze and beating the mini game that took me like five minutes to do and there's nothing else to do anymore and i guess right now we're in the phase where lumin legacy is pushing out events again and probably the next update will have something to do with pvp i just feel that lumin legacy needs Needs to do something new needs to do something innovative needs to probably add a feature to make the game a bit more engaging i just feel that the entire game relying on people hunting is just not something ideal i mean the giveaways that they're doing is pretty amazing pretty cool the fact that we get some gamma isigals to give away like they've been doing for the past few years so i'm glad that tradition has stayed true but still that doesn't really in my opinion make the game any more interesting or any more active I just think that there's a lot of things to do and I really hope that the game has some sort of strategy or some sort of plans to make it more engaging, more fun and more interesting because the game is extremely cool. I've been a fan of the game for the past four years and I guess right now it's just getting to the point where I'm just not really entertained by playing this anymore. Maybe it is the update speed, maybe it's the lack of updates, I just don't know. Thinking about the times where I played Pokemon Break Bronze, the updates were very much more common and much more frequent back in those times so i guess that's why i never felt that pokemon break bronze really got boring and i don't want to discredit any other work that has been put into this game to make it how it is right now now i want to take a moment to take a look at the roadmap that lumion legacy posted on june 1st of 2023 and see where things are currently headed towards and after that i want to talk about what they told us to expect on october 21st they posted this roadmap on june 1st that says a Atlantean Part 2, and I guess that already happened. The release of Atlantean Part 2 was amazing. It was really fun. However, that release only lasted like a week or two of entertainment. And after that, it went back to, you know, just being standstill and nothing else to do. Then in the roadmap, it mentions PvP rework. As a proud member of the Lumion Legacy PvP community, I am so excited for that. Nah, but keeping it serious, I know that there's a lot of people really excited for the PvP rework. So that is definitely something to keep in mind for that community. It's something that they've been waiting since the release of the game. And I guess it's the next thing that's going to happen in the game, maybe. Then after that, it mentions Route 9. So we first need to get through the PvP rework. Then we need to get through Route 9. And then after Route 9, Lumion Legacy is going to bring back raids forever. Maybe bringing back raids forever will make the game a bit more interesting. You know, just having cool loot drops and stuff like that. That could be a potential to make the game a bit less boring and more engaging. And going on to what they tweeted on October 21st, they said the following. Special Halloween event, which already happened. More Cell vs. Lumions, which they dropped Isigul and Metronet. Remaining Cell move 
animations, they only added one for Metronet. They haven't added the cell move animation for the other Lumians. New UMV content. Lumion Legacy has not dropped anything in regards to the UMV. And to think about it, UMV is also something that could bring back some entertainment and some fun to the game as well. Because realistically speaking, there is nothing to do in the UMV after it dropped back in December of 2020. And then they added like one Lumion in really nothing else to do in the UMV. The UMV has a lot of potential, but it's like when you have a plant and you don't water it, it dies. And sadly, that's what's been happening with the UMV since. They also mentioned PvP 2.0, which is ranked system, seasonal rewards, and badges. As we just talked, the Lumion Legacy PvP community has been looking forward to this for ages. When is ranked PvP 2.0 coming out? Nothing has been mentioned in regards to this other than it's planned. Maybe it could come out after this event is over. Maybe not. I just don't know anything anymore right now. And then Doomy Legacy ends this post by saying a Route 9, which is a snowy route. <sighs> As fun as this sounds and as exciting as it is, maybe it's happening again where these updates take months and months to release. The general thought was that after Atlantean City Part 2, the updates wouldn't take as long. And I guess so far they haven't been taken as long because they did drop two events back to back, which have been really fun. But the real challenge starts right now. The real challenge is gonna be this year. Will Lumion Legacy remain a game where you accomplish everything that there is to accomplish in the lapse of 30 minutes? Or will the game turn engaged fun and bring us something new every single day I don't know we're gonna have to wait to see how the game ends up doing lucky mentioned something interesting on Twitter the other day he basically said hot take I guess although these recent events are cool we should return back to the old events with Lumion Legacy adding a new permanent route some new Lumions and around two reskins maybe even tie the story into the event and have it move it forward it would be sick I'm gonna agree with this because by doing this the game could focus easily more on just working the map and extending the story rather than having to dedicate a whole event place and stuff like this to the game itself i mean don't get me wrong this event place was extremely well made i am still in awe as to how good this looks at the end of the day the lumion legacy community wants one thing and that one thing is to keep progressing the story i remember asking some lumion legacy friends how many battle theaters they thought were gonna be coming out this year and most of them said zero the whole point of lumion legacy is to release battle theaters and extend the story and the fact that the lord loyal members of the community, people who have been playing this game for four years that are going to continue playing this game, don't really have any hope in the battle theaters getting released or any of that. I just hope that this year things are gonna be different. And I guess that is everything that we all must do is keep hoping for the best and keep hoping that things will finally change. And overall, just hoping that the game won't remain the same. And this way, we're gonna have more things to do, more interesting stuff to play. And I guess we're gonna have more fun playing the game. Is Lumion Legacy boring right now? Yes. Do I think Lumion Legacy will be boring forever? Usually I tell you guys something hopeful and I'd be like, heck no, Lumion Legacy is not gonna be boring forever. But at this point, I'm just gonna leave it up to the developers to decide that. I'm not gonna give my comment on that, so hopefully things change and hopefully the game gets more exciting, I guess. But thanks for watching this video. I'm Arminti and we lit.